Well, literally coming off of the heels of just some fake news in a small sense with the Transformers War for Cybertron Pterosaur, uh, we have something that's actually legitimate that people honestly thought when it first dropped was fake, and it's that of a Transformers X X-Men crossover figure. Now, this is confirmed via the Transformers Instagram account, the official Transformers Instagram account, and they said, take a look at what's next, emphasis on the X, and it shows, like you're seeing here in the segment, a logo of the X-Men with the Blackbird jet, as well as the year 2021. Now, few questions here that people are starting to ask is, what does this relate to? Is this some kind of anniversary thing? All the past crossover stuff have been shared anniversaries with Transformers. So what is going on this time around? Well, when you look at X-Men's history, it's obviously not an anniversary of the comic book itself, the original run in 1963, because that would be, you know, 58 years. That's a weird number. It's not a anniversary of the old X-Men cartoon by Fox, which was extremely popular, that really launched the brand uh, worldwide in a lot of ways. Um, that was 28, episode, uh, 28 years ago in 1992, so it's definitely not that. But you know what it is when I really think about it? And it's something that made just as much an impact, if not more, for the X-Men brand. And I think that this is a celebration of the original run of the Jim Lee books with X-Men Volume 2 number 1 back in 1991. I really think that that's what it probably is more than anything else, the 30th anniversary of that. And that book is extremely important because it introduced a lot of designs that became pretty much the flag-bearing standard for how we envision a lot of characters for X-Men today, thanks to Jim Lee and his incredible, incredible work. And of course, Chris Claremont, who did the writing for the book. And that book still to this day, the issue number one, is still to this day the number one selling comic book of all time. And I mean, obviously, there's there's golden age debaters that say, you know, well, before we started really counting comic book sales, there's some debate that, you know, books in the in the 40s and the 50s, some of them sold probably in just as much the higher circulation numbers, just people weren't counting back then. But at least in terms of the modern era of comic books, uh, Silver Age into the modern age, the Bronze Age and stuff like that, uh, it is confirmed 8.1 million copies sold of that X-Men number one could be due to the speculation boom who knows but very important book a lot of stuff went down in that book that be just became again a standard uh many people believe 100 percent that the sales of that book also led to the x-men cartoon which then led to the success that led to the movies and the beginning of the marvel cinematic universe that we know today because of the success of the movie of the x-men movies that led to the success of the spider-man movies so very important book very important uh, date, so I really think that it's it's really grounded and based on that comic book, and that's what we're celebrating with this 30th anniversary, with that date specifically. Now, what are they going to do? Well, they're showing the Blackbird here. Very strong chance. Uh, just looking at what has existed previously from these crossovers, it's always been a huge reshell, retool of a previous existing mold whether it be, you know, the Ecto-1 or what we had recently with, um, with Gigawatt, with the Back to the Future, and then even more recently, that with the Top Gun crossover, and all of those being retools and some kind of tooling from previously existing stuff. So the Blackbird, I'm pretty sure there's some Transformer mold out there nothing that comes off the top of my head at this exact moment but i'm pretty sure there's something they could grab and retool maybe even that top gun mold itself you know just do a heavy retool of that the the other thing is to people are going like well what character would it be well i think it's going to be like the previous ones where it's going to be its own standalone character it's not going to be like storm the robot or beast the robot or, you know, uh, Wolverine the Robot, much like what we had with the Marvel X Transformers crossovers that we had all those years ago, which were not really that good, that line. But, uh, you know, I have a whole bunch of them, but they really are what they are in a lot of ways. They're very, it's a clearly different engineering studio than what if Hasbro was normally used to. Um, 
So I really think it's going to be kind of its own bot. It's going to be its own Blackbird sentient robot. Maybe it'll be called, maybe it'll be the danger room manifested into robot form in terms of a sentience. Who knows? But uh, very interesting to see this. I'm very curious if we'll probably get more information later this week. Maybe a surprise uh, yet again fan first Friday. But this is very exciting for, for X-Men fans, for Marvel fans, and more importantly for Transformer fans because that really unites those two fronts. And especially considering that Hasbro has the Marvel Legends line and they have the Transformer line, it's a good marriage of those two collector communities uh, so it's just going to sell extremely well. I think it'll do very well. It's very exciting. Um, and as you could tell from my knowledge of X-Men, I'm a big fan of that brand specifically. Uh, you know, any 90s kid uh, was living that world back in the day, especially during that Jim Lee run and the original Fox cartoon. So great stuff. Super excited about this. I'm really curious where they're going to go with this. Um, but definitely, I think that this is celebrating that Jim Lee run, and we're going to get some really cool Blackbird design. Let me know what you think. Are you hyped? Are you excited? This is really cool.